Okay guys, this is an update for my stand-up bar that I made out of 1-inch PVC. As you can see, I stuck a little hook on here that I just drilled on. And that's just so that way I can use the paddle keeper that Vibe uh, has installed to secure it down when I'm in travel. And then I'll show you. It's going to be kind of hard to do with, with one hand. How easy it is. And all this is done with Bimney Top Hardware. And the great thing about Bimney Top Hardware, it's very cheap. You can pay them. It's, it's about $2.99 or $5 for the little hardware that I use on there. And it fits on there just great. And I'm using just a track to put it on. It's hard to do with one hand holding the camera. The other thing I did, I updated, was my center hatch. I used insulation. You can buy at Home Depot for about ten dollars. And I cut it, and made it form to fit, and now I can keep my drinks cool. It's completely sealed on all the, all the way around it. And also, if I decided to throw bait in there to keep it nice and cold, if I use frozen bait like ribbon fish or whatnot. The other thing I did was I put stainless steel uh, wire material here that you can get at Walmart. And uh, I did have leader material in there, but there's a reason why I had to go with this one. It's a little bit bigger. And this controls that over there. Now, um, the other thing I did, you can see these little hooks that I got at Walmart, and I got these little pad eyes, and they're on my my uh, black pack white at an angle. The reason for that is so that way I can have everything to me in arm's reach. My arms are kind of short. I'm only 5'3". My arms were short, and I couldn't reach to the back of the vibe. There's just so much space from here to here that they use for that hatch that you know you really can't put a whole lot in there so um that's why i covered it i just made it easy for my for me to reach in here to get my equipment out of my my uh my pack my car my uh yak attack uh box here i plan on putting more rod holders i'm gonna put the rod holders more closer to this side because I am right-handed, and if I do a right-hand side cast, I don't want to be able to hit any of, get snagged on anything over here. If you if you kayak fished long enough, you you know what I'm talking about. Everybody at least hangs up on one of their rods at one time or another. The other thing that I did over here was I put one of these Scotty anchor systems. It's at an angle. And this is how I did my Minn Kota. I'm going to remove the top of this and have the controllers up at the seat. But I did this all at a PVC. And I used the uh, the rail system. I used one of these Yak Attack screws right here for the rails and put it on there. This right here is loose because this is where my, my visible carbon goes. But this is all wood, this piece of plywood. You can see what I did, how I did that. I'm eventually going to have all this wire connected to my kayak through a trolling motor. But, uh, it's going to get connected to a uh, waterproof adapter. You can see what I used, how to turn my kayak. And of course, the shallow water anchor system. Is there and the reason why I went with the steel cable was so that way I can use these little clamps here see those clamps so I can take those off put my rudder back on and still adjust it the other thing I have over here is my shallow water anchor just easy one hand operation 
There you go, guys. People always ask me, will it pick up? Look, I'm pulling on it. It's not moving. The only movement I get is if it comes up right over here this way, like this here. If I hit a big wave and if, or something or another, but the weight inside of it is going to keep it together, and it's still not going to make it slide back. And I still have all the room in the area back here if I want to stick a big ice chest back here. There you go, guys. That's the update. The other thing I did, but I didn't put it install it right now, is I cut one inch PVC, the same diameter of the uh, chair well right in there, and it just to, just made it sit just right to where it's almost straight, so that way it's not sitting forward. But other than that, everything is good to go. Um, we'll be testing it soon after I, I take off the top housing here and um, redo the wire controls and so forth. I'll do the wiring inside the kayak. I'll put some lights on it and we'll take it out for a spin. Thanks guys.